Hello and welcome back to the channel. So this lecture is all about setting up Presto and we can query Hayu or Cassandra using it. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the first step would be just kick off your HDB sandbox. So I have already kept it in running position to save some time and just make sure that all the services are running fine without any issues. So as I said in the previous lecture, Presto is not pre-configured or installed along with your HDP sandbox and we just have to go to the official website to get some documentation and the steps to install Presto and also set some configurations. So just go to your favorite browser and just type like prestodb.io. So this is the official website. So just go to the docs. And here you can see on the left side, we have the installation tab. So just go to the installation and here you can see the deploying Presto part. So just go to deploying Presto and here you'll get the tar file, which we need to extract in our HDB sandbox. So just give right click and just copy the link address because we don't have to install it on your system, but we have to install it on your Linux box. So just head over to the putty and login as maria underscore dev. You know the password, right? Maria underscore dev. So here, as you can see, we are in the home directory now. So here, let's get the tar file first. So we will just extract it in the home directory because in the real world scenario, we will be having some specific path in which we will deploy Presto. But since it doesn't matter because it's a single node cluster and we are just learning it, and just doing it for practice, it's better to give things simpler. So just give like wget and give right clicked to paste the previously copied link and hit enter. So it will take some time. So just grab your coffee and come back once it is completed. Okay. So once the file has been downloaded, we just need to extract it. So we'll just extract it in the home directory. So to do that, just give like tar xvf and the tar file, which we downloaded, which is Presto dash server dash 0.275, which is the version dot tar dot gz. This will extract the file. So since it's pretty big file, it will take some time to extract. And that's it. The extraction is completed. So if we just check our files, as you can see, our Presto server directory has been created. So we'll just move to that directory and check which files are present. So here we have like the bin folder, the library and the plugins, but we don't have like the configuration file, which we'll be needing to kick off our Presto server. So to do that, we just need to upload the configuration files here and we need to write it down, which is a pretty time consuming task. So if we just head back to the official website, so here you can see in the deployment page, you can see we got our tar file and we extract it, but we just need to do some configuration by creating a node properties file as well as the JVN config files and as well as the config properties file. So this file Presto will not be providing with you in your, in your tar file and you just have to write it down. And it makes sense because for each and every deployment, we are not sure that where we're deploying that and which services we'll be using to connect to our Presto server. So that makes sense to write all the configuration files from scratch so that you will not face any issues during execution. But I have uploaded all the configuration files in our Hadoop GitHub repository and you can get it by using the wget command. So let's do that first. So before getting that file, just make sure that we are in our Presto directory. So as you can see, we are in the Presto server directory and we can just give like wget https colon slash slash raw dot github user content dot com slash ashe partil 11 slash hadoop slash main slash presto dash hdp dash config dot tgz. That's it. So if everything looks good, hit enter and that's it. If we hit ls, we have like the tar file, which we need to extract first. So to do that, just give like tar xvf and give the file name, which is like presto hdp config dot tgz. Hit enter and that's it. So if we hit ls again, yeah. So we have extracted the etc file where all the configuration and properties are present. 
so if we just cd into etc and here as you can see we have the catalog we have the config.properties as well as we have the jvm configuration files which have all the jvm classes which will be needing to integrate presto with all the other services so this tutorial we are going to connect it with cassandra and hive so it will have all the java classes which are required to do that and again we have the log.properties which again contains the path where the presto logs are residing and also we have the node properties so let me just show you what are all the important properties which we have mentioned so first we'll go the config.properties so just give like config.properties hit enter so as you can see here we have given the discovery url as 127.0.0.1 colon 8090 so that is the port which is available and we can use it to connect to our presto server so once our presto server is up and running we can go ahead and connect to this url to interact with presto by using its presto web ui so if we come back now we will go to the note dot properties so as you can see we have like the directory where the data will be residing and the node id which is unique for every machine so here are some configuration files which will be needing to kick off presto server so again we will be having like the catalog file so if we go to the catalog now and here we have like the hive properties and jmx dot properties so since we are using hive here to connect to our default hive databases where we have created like users table in the previous tutorials we can do that so if you go to the hive properties now yeah so as you can see here is the connector which will be required to connect to our hive meta store so here you can see the url for our meta store which is localhost 9083 so that it will get all the metadata of our hive databases so just come back now so now we have extracted presto in our hdb sandbox but we will be needing the command line tool to communicate and submit sql commands against our hive databases as well as cassandra database so to do that we just need to install the command line now so just go to the official website again so in this official website you will see the command line interface which is next after deploying presto so just click on that and yeah here we need to install this jar file we just don't need to extract it we just need to put it into the bin directory so what we will do is we'll just right click on it and copy the link address now and go to the putty terminal again so in our putty just clear up the mess and we are currently into our catalog directory so just go back one step again one step so we are in our presto directory so we just need to be in the bin directory and we need to extract that command line utility so just go to the cd bin and now we will use the wget to download that command line jar file so i'll just right click to paste the previously copied link address and hit enter and that's it so if we tell us we have the jar file present but to make it simpler to kick off our command line we just need to give this whole path name which will be time consuming so we'll just use the move command to rename this file so we'll just copy this paste it over here and give the file name as presto which is very simple right okay so now we have the presto present but for executing this file we just need to give the executable permission to do that just give like chmod command we just need to add plus x which is stand for executable and give presto that's it hit enter and now we can kick off this file so if we go one step back so we are in our presto directory so we have just clear up the mess and currently we are in the presto directory now so to start our service all you have to do is give like bin slash launcher and we have to give like start that's it so if we hit enter and as you can see it's showing as permission denied so we have logged in as a maria underscore dev but to get all the privileges we should be logging as a root user so to do that just give like su root give the password and now we have logged in as a root user so if you just again run that command bin slash launcher give start hit enter 
and as you can see our service has been started so you just have to make sure that you have logged in as a root user and if you face any issues like permission denied then most probably it will be because your maria underscore dev don't have much privileges to run this service and get all the configurations so it will take some time so just wait for one or two minute to start the presto service so that we can just go ahead to our browser and access presto web ui so just open a new tab and give like 127.0.0.1 colon 8090 which is the port which we have given to access presto so if you hit enter and that's it as you can see the overview of our presto server so here you can see the active worker as one and this ui is very attractive and the big companies like facebook so as you already know that presto is originally developed by facebook because they're struggling to handle and submit simple sql queries on the huge amounts of data so they have made this presto and they have made it very beautiful so as you can see in this ui we can check all the parameters and also the query details which we will be submitting in a few minutes so this is just a web ui so to actually submit and access our hive databases we just again need to go to the cli through our putty terminal and let's submit some queries so as you already know we have just downloaded our command line into our bin directory and we have renamed it as a presto so we just have to give like bin slash presto and also we need to pass the config file so first argument will be the server so you know the server which is 127.0.0.1 colon 8090 and the next one is catalog so for catalog we just have to provide the hive and through this we can connect to our hive databases so if you hit enter and that's it we are in the presto command line interface so as you can see it shows presto and we can just submit simple queries so let's submit the show tables command so we have the show tables from the default databases so you already know that we have the default databases in hive and we have already deployed some tables so you just semicolon enter and that's it so we have the ratings table so as you already know that in the previous tutorials we have created ratings table which have all the data related to ratings which are submitted by some users so that table we have created so to access that all you have to do is you can just simply give the select command select uh, from default to just database dot ratings limit 10 so it will just give us the 10 records so it is submitted to the cluster and now it is fetching the records and that's it we have the 10 records from our ratings table so to get more insights let's um, okay let's get the count of the five star ratings so we'll just select the count of all from default dot ratings table and we'll give the where condition where the rating equals to five so we'll just get the number of five star ratings so if we just render and as you can see we have like 21000 five star ratings present in our ratings table so this is how you can query and submit hyql queries from presto so i know that this is not much advanced and in the next tutorial let's submit some queries on top of our hive as well as cassandra databases and join it together by using the join operations so that you will get the clear understanding so if you head back to our ui as you can see we already got all the queries which we have submitted so as you can see we can get all the query details so as you can see this is the status these are the finished queries where we have just got all the details of all the tables present in default database we just selected some data and just filter it and use some aggregation function to get some meaning out of it so as you can see it is used for monitoring purpose where you can just see how our queries are executing and how much time it is taking and how much resources it is consuming so in the next lecture let's again kick off our presto server and work with different databases like cassandra so if you have any difficulties just let me know in the comments and i'll get back to you as soon as possible so for cleaner purpose just give quit to quit from the presto cli and just give like bin slash launcher and give stop to stop our presto server 
and that's it our presto server has been stopped and also before leaving just make sure that you have properly shut down your sdb sandbox i hope you like this lecture so please subscribe to our channel and also ring the notification bell to get the latest updates and don't forget to follow us on our social media which i have linked in the description below thanks for watching